Big Ken broke his Tesla out after having it in storage all winter. Tint has had these saved up for quite a while now. Oh, yeah. Basically, they're like stick-on exhaust tips. Ever since we cut Ken's salary, he had to start driving the electric car again. He can't afford gas. Really? Ken, what the f***, dude? Why? Why? It was him chilling oh, out. Well, that escalated quickly. I didn't even see that coming. He threw that thing so fucking hard. Yeah, I hit you hard. You're even at risk being the cameraman these days. Why did that trigger him? Ken. I'm not fucking around. It was tint. I didn't see it, so. Dude, <laughs> Tesla owners do not think that shit's funny. All right, that's one way to start the video. The show must go on. Guys, so last video we built and then spent 24 hours in this snow cave igloo. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a really funny video. But we came back here to see basically if the ceiling is still intact, and if it is, I think we're gonna destroy it. Wow, we did a good job building this thing. It's I mean, it really hasn't gained in much. But yeah, now it's rock solid in here. It's probably, probably safer than it was before. It's literally an igloo now. I can't get the whole thing caved out. <laughs> Hook a rope up to this and the razor, pull it out, and then see if this caves. Wow. That was surprisingly easy. It's just fine. Should we drive it up? Yeah. on Ken's face when that thing <laughs> fell through. Oh my gosh! So what do we do now? We wait till spring and we come and get it with the bow. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. We got a razor in our igloo. Checks out, we're good. Holy smokes, boys, it's beautiful. Yo, this is sick, hey, don't dude. Get it dirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm assuming you guys eight. didn't put water in it at all? No, yeah. but it will be, it's ready for water. You can sleep yeah, eight people in this thing? I'm gonna feel like this one. Nope. You can put Evan on it. <laughs> yeah, that's a no. Uh, fill that battery level you fit. And then this always reads no, I don't. I fit like this. Ken, does the toilet check out? The toilet's fine, but that's a big shower for a motorhome. We should probably put a seatbelt on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that's where Ken's gonna be riding most of the way. Well, who's driving it home? I will. All right, Mike, you drive it. <laughs> I don't know. Mike, you drive it home. Whoa, 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 right, Mike. If you don't think I can drive it home, then I'm not driving the whole thing. Anybody, anybody, nobody <laughs> wants to drive. Man, what a good guy. He's like, please don't make me regret this. That is kind of what he's thinking. 
All right, boys, as you see, we just picked up this luxurious RV from GoGo -Go Rental. We're going on a two week long Sea Boys TV road trip across America. So we're going from Minnesota and we're ending up in California. We're making stops in Utah, Las Vegas, Lake Havasu, Glamis, Jackson, Jackson Hole. So we just want to give GoGo -Go Rental a little bit of a plug here. If you don't know who GoGo -Go Rental is, basically they have a library of different things you can rent. They gave us some e-bikes as well, but they got kayaks, ice houses, tubes, pontoons, boats, just a bunch of good stuff. And they have three locations, Fargo, Detroit Lakes, and Hawaii. If you guys are looking to do a vacation or anything like that, GoGo -Go Rental makes it easy. And on top of that, we have a promo code for you guys, Seaboys10, and you'll get 10% off. You know, I was thinking, looking at this, I prefer to learn things by doing them. Right. I'm gonna have to learn pretty fast, I think. Which part? Driving like 70 feet of stuff. <laughs> the good news is there's not that much stuff in the trailer though. <laughs> Everything is just crammed in here. So Ken, what's the plan if your little electrical disaster waiting to happen burns on the shop while we are? Well, it's no different than if your little ball of combustible fluids Ken. burns down the shop. Oh, I got you guys, don't even think about poking at the gag of Ken's Tesla having exhaust. So and if, 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 joke, if someone does, get the f out of there. Tesla guys do not joke about emissions. Don't put stickers on a painted surface. At least put it on the plastic. Well, don't talk to me, I didn't do it. Don't put shit on a painted surface. Well, if it was me or anyone else, I would've walked out being like, that's pretty funny. You guys put an exhaust on my electric vehicle. But you, you walk out and you go, what the f then you rip it off. If anyone's gonna damage your pain, it's you. And then you go like this, right to the camera guy. Woo! Don't f with my shit. I didn't f with it. Well, you're an accomplice of f with my shit, so don't do it. On that note, let's go on a two week RV trip. Confined spaces together. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm gonna throw up. Ken farted back there. It's bad. It's bad, my eyes are watering. Yeah, I'm trying to open the window. I feel bad for you guys. I'm up here putting my sweatshirt in my nose. American Express is gonna be like, why the f are these guys spending like a thousand dollars today on gas? <laughs> you wanna guess what our MPG was for when I was driving? 6.8. Holy crap. Here, 24 hours, if anyone was wondering. It was exactly 24 hours from Cormorant to the Salt Flats. Dude, get on. Wait, are we here? Is it wet right now? Oh my gosh. I think it is, bro. Wow. I don't even know what to say. We'll assess in the morning. Oh, wow, that sucks. The sunrise is going to be pretty, at least. Unless it's cloudy. I'm gonna drive all this way for a sunrise. It's gonna be one good sunrise. <laughs> Closed to motorized vehicles due to wet conditions. We showed up to the Bonneville Salt Flats in hopes to take out the shifter carts and a bunch of other toys and rip them around. And we found this at 4.30 in the morning. In hindsight, should have checked that before driving 24 hours, but that is something we would do. <laughs> All right, scratch the salt flats. Basically, we found this riding area like 30 minutes from there. Anyways, uh, there's like a lake bed over there that's relatively flat, relatively smooth. Yeah. So we're either gonna throw it on the back of Ryan's quad or just we're gonna have to carry it. All right, quit measuring and just throw it on there. Sometimes it's easier just to do rather than think. <sighs> Today. And then how is he supposed to ride it? I think this might work. I told you. Yo, someone want to shift me into gear? No way. Dude, if I go it out, dude, if I fall, I'm gonna crap. If there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Surprise.
surprisingly well. Oh! No damage to the seat, but it's a utility quad. It is just a bummer because it was so mint before. <laughs> you know, like it's always tough when you get the first scratch. You know what's funny is the subs over there we just met. Ryan goes riding with the quad and I'm grabbing the pit bike and goes, man, I can't believe that thing still runs. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about Ryan's quad. shifter carts in the desert oh it's always a good day when we get to break these shifter carts out what do you guys think we're gonna leave with three running motors two one or zero running motors Ooh, i have confidence this time i guess but like you say you do maintenance and then bad things happen and we maintenance them so i think we blow up at least one today god oh man i forgot how tiny this seat is dude you just gained a lot of weight <laughs> fastest on the bumpiest too. Are we straight up down to one? We are down to one. In about eight minutes. Dude, I'm fucking stoked. Let's ride dirt bikes now. <laughs> <laughs> These carts. <laughs> These things are not meant yeah. to be taken off asphalt. I mean, and that's <laughs> for sure. Like they're just not. I'm kind of sad that we have to stop because my cart still works and has having so much. And this one <laughs> rips, dude. Yeah, I think we better save this guy. We only have one cart and we started with three. <laughs> <laughs> 